Good morning, everyone. What a nice sight. <laughs> Good morning, Mata. All right. Let's see what we can do. She's sitting in there. She's going to be a great mama. But now's not the time. There was a pile here of really, really thorny bushes from the bush that was over here. And we're cleaning up the turkey coop today. So we're taking out all these really, really thorny bushes. I don't know if you can see the thorns. It's like crazy, these thorns. It used to be a huge, huge bush over here. And we took it all out, but this is what's left. Good morning, everyone. So today, I just started without saying good morning. Um, today is going to be getting ready for winter. As you see, it is, do you see? We are getting ready, everything we need, cleaning things out, organizing, things like that. And I'm going to try to move the turkey. She's not going to like it. It is going to look a bit, a bit cruel, but there's nothing to be done. It's the reason I'm using that stick that you see is because the mama doesn't like it. She's hissing at me and she can bite very easily. So I'm not poking her, I'm just poking near her and trying to see what's under her. And look what I think. Okay, I'm gonna have to rethink this. People, look what she has underneath her. I mean, Look at all those eggs. Look what was going on right under my nose. Oh my goodness. And she's not gonna have it. There are like 15 eggs under there. Just when I thought, all settled. <laughs> Rethink. Rethink. She has like 15 eggs under there. I don't know if she's gonna lay again this year. I think the weather messed them up totally. Okay, people, we got to go to plan B. Plan B. Plan B would be to have a nice roof over her head. A nice uh, a roof, yeah, definitely a roof over her head. And then count 28 days. She, she's smarter than me. I told you usually they just go and lay their eggs and they don't stay there at night and then they come back and sit and all of them together. That's what she did. She did just what she was supposed to do. She's amazing. It's a first time mom. She was just, she's around 10 months old. She's 10 months old. So, um, she's a smart 10 month old. Anyway, so the chicks are gonna be born in 28 days. That's gonna be like in the middle of February. So ideally by then I would have a coop ready for mama and her babies and it should be really warm and cozy. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, now, now you see why it's so important to go find Kiwi because she might have her own, Kiwi probably has her own batch of eggs somewhere that I can't help her. I don't know where she is. She hasn't been back. I'm sure she's sitting on them. I'm sure she's fine, but I won't be able to help her get ready for the winter. So I'm going to keep on looking for her, but it's getting a bit tough. What are my options? Okay. How do I think? First thing I do is I look around me. So I was going to clean up today. I see we have a frame here, an old frame from a table and an old frame from a table there. All right, I'm going to try to put this table that was right here over her and then I'm going to bring a roof and put the roof over that. I'm thinking something else. Why do I need this? What if I just put something on diagonal over her? I can get like a board and put it over her diagonal. That would be enough. I don't need this. All right, back to the deep dark dungeons and see what we have to use as a piece to 
could cover her. Okay, another plan of mine is to fill up these two sacks with leaves and put it in the quail coop to give them some more insulation for the cold days. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go down, take this with me to the quail and go find a board for the turkey. Their water is like coming up with me. I hope they're not gonna get startled and just jump up because this is what they tend to do. Oops, he tried to fly up. Don't try it, please don't try it. Oh, look how cool their house looks in that whole pile. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, I think they're gonna have fun making themselves some cozy bedding. Big helper today, Elisheva. She's helping me today. Today's a big day for these quail babies. Day number 15. They take 18 days to hatch always do they hatch on Friday. I don't know why. <laughs> Some kind of thing, like a Murphy Law. Every time I have to run upstairs, downstairs, cooking and taking care. But anyway, this time as well, it's gonna be Friday Shabbos. I am organizing it now um, to have everything ready and they have to go on lockdown. Lockdown means that in the last three days, um, we don't want the trays moving. We want them to settle themselves comfortably into the, uh, with, a, with the ear pocket in a certain way so that they can hatch easiest. So the way to do that is that I'm gonna put the eggs that need to be on lockdown. Um, these guys are going into lockdown. These guys aren't ready. So I'm just gonna take out these three yellow Okay, so that's how it looks now. These are gonna continue as usual and these are gonna hatch out into here. Down in lockdown, have an easy hatching and I hope you all hatch. Oh, look at that. All the posts are up just like that. We're gonna be planting in front of every post um, a grapevine, some kind of vine. And the big plan is to have vines covering this whole area from the top to like close it in and make like a pathway of vines oh you know what i can use you know what i'm thinking what? Ooh, what, what if we use a window and then we can also see him what if we use a window that's a good idea here is a window with glass it's a good size. Wait, wait, this window's bigger. Maybe we'll go for the bigger window. Okay, so I'll put it back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. Uh, okay. <laughs> so. You got it. Ready. You know, okay, good for you. <laughs> Okay, simple as that. The glass is there, so hopefully the rain will just fall down. And there's a way in and out for her when she wants to come get food. There she is, you can't see her, but I think she's gonna be really nice and cozy in here. I'm really happy with the system. I think it'll work just perfect. I'm gonna try to look outside this gate. This is where I've looked till now, but I'm thinking she might have gone out the gate. I don't know how, 
spot. My Dutch is up here because there isn't much greenery here and there's a lot more greenery on campus. Now this is off campus. If we're here already, let me show you the view. So this is the road that goes above campus over here is a road. This is our gate of the campus. This is all our passion fruit vine that we planted. And this is where all the kids and the families come for a walk. They come up the road, they come down the path over here, and they come take a look at our chickens. We got tons of family families every day coming to see this view. And this is the view, they see the gardens. Look how neat the garden looks from up here. It's amazing. So they see the gardens, they see the chickens, they see a little bit of the compost down here. So it's really cool. And they also get to see some of the pond when it's ready. I'm gonna give up on Kiwi. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna keep looking wherever I am, but she's way, way too good at this. Way too good at this, you know? Uh, I, you can't mess with natural instincts that Hashem puts in animals. I've looked and searched for hours. I'm gonna continue as much as I can, but then we're just gonna rely on Kiwi to come in and leave her nest if it gets too cold and rainy for her.